Um, nice to hear from Ray Raheem there. Could you tell us a little bit about what his role will be? No, of course, I think he's uh, an important player for us. I think he's in our plan. I, I think he's, he can provide to the team many different things. Uh, yes, we are confident that we can get the best from, from him to help the team to, to achieve what we want. No, no, no. I'm not going to until to the to before the uh, Liverpool, and it's better for you to know because if you are going to ask me every single press conference now in in America, and you will say, I'm going to my answer is going to be the same. First of all, I need to see, I need to see the reaction, how they behave, how they act, uh, not only on the pitch, if, if not outside of the pitch. I think it's a it's a time to assess everyone and see what is going on and how on the end is going to be the, the squad and then we'll decide but it's not really important maybe it's for some you know maybe for some people yes but now it's so important to assess and be right in uh, on the decision to to pro to give the arm to the to the arm and to the to the right the right uh, player it was interesting listening to what he talking about changing his diet I need to change my diet also. That is for you're going. Maybe no. <laughs> but me also, yes, I need. I confirm. Maybe I will ask after who who changed the, the diet, who made the diet. Is that one of the things when you arrive here, you take over the defense? That depth, you need to like speak to individual players. Of course, I think we are a coaching staff that we try to care about all the areas in, in on the football club, in, uh, in that case on Chelsea. And I think um, we respect all the professionals. We we are here to try to help every single area uh, with our advice, but we trust. We trust in, our, in, in, in the people that is working, in all the staff, the staff that work here. Um, I think we need to, yes, uh, we need to add our experience to try to help all the, all the organization uh, to, to, to try to be perfect in, in, in our shop. So many changes as well to the squad this season, the amount of players who have left. It sounds as though Pierre Engman and Obama Yang is, is on his way out. I know you spoke about Robert Lukaku the other day as well. Are you able to give us an update at all on their situation? No, at the moment uh, nothing is, is changing. Uh, it's the same situation. Um, yes, I think was was clear, like I explained the, the last day. But the thing is, uh, yes, I think like you say, maybe for you uh, it's a situation that maybe um, uh, is special, but. I think uh, it's, it's not af uh, it's not affecting us because I think we arrive to the to the new environment. We have the player that we have, and we are so happy uh, with the attitude and the, in the way that they are uh, working. Of course, that we need to improve the squad and the team. Uh, we are working on that, uh, but in the same time, I think it's, it's important to to know all the player and to see. We have, um, like uh, Ryan say, young. Uh, players uh, that they need to show uh, the equality I think maybe if it's not for now it's maybe for the future important player will be important player for the future but it's important today that will be involved they will be involved with the first team yes, uh, sorry, the question is about if. Yeah, are you hoping to maybe sign bring new players and make improvements while you're still here in the US? If the player. No players, are you hoping to sign players while you're in the US? While you're in the US? I don't understand. It's basically, uh, Kishan say, do you want to have new signings come in and join us in America whilst we're here? Or, 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 or Kishan, like, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Now that is, is why it's difficult to understand because uh, no, but it's clear that uh, any coach want the, to 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 close the the squad as soon as possible. Is that possible? Yes, here on to bring the player here to USA. It's not possible. We need to wait. It's not a problem, you know. But uh, I am happy. I am happy in the way that they are working. How we are working, you know, in this process of try to to improve the squad. 
and they are doing you know the the sporting director Paul Lawrence and of course all the the board and the owner are working so hard to try to uh, to bring uh, the right people the right player the right profile uh, to add to the to the squad and and help you know to perform in the in the best way i am i am so happy in the way that they are they are working um, and the was another question in in the middle okay, okay perfect Thank you. you're welcome it's a huge weekend it's for soccer in America for in Philly but also the women are at the World Cup and then we have the unions doing well and then of course Messi debuts tonight everybody's going to be watching soccer this weekend. how important in your mind is it and if you could answer in English and Spanish that'd be great for Telemundo how important is it for America to be a successful soccer country Yes, I think it's uh, yes. Now, you uh, say it's the focus in, in football. Um, of course, it's the World Cup, Women World Cup. Um, but uh, I think it's important to you know the evolution of soccer, like you say, soccer here. Um, I think it's important. It's a really uh, it's a sport that now with uh, the arrival of Messi will help also to to evolve. Um, yes, I think it's maybe difficult because it's cultural. Maybe to be in the same level of the different sport like football, uh, American baseball, different different sport that here is is uh, is massive. But I think. It, yeah, the, the the soccer is improving and the people is is exciting also and to watch uh, games and I think all this uh, like tournament that Premier League is doing a fantastic job here and I think uh, with Messi also I think will will help you know uh, to the to 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 the. Um, to have better, you know, um, uh, possibility for the future, and for for sure, football is, is will increase in the demand of the uh, fans in America. And yes, I think it's really really important uh, the MLS uh, uh, market because I think like we are seeing in different country now, um, uh, football is uh, sorry, soccer is it's an amazing sport, and not only. Um, uh, Translate or to, to bring uh, show, if not help many people, you know, to improve their their lives. Okay. Sí. No. Okay. Perfecto. Ah, eh, acerca de sí, la llegada de Messi creo que es una es una es una muy buena cosa para para el fútbol en para el soccer en, en América. Creo que va a crear mucho más eh, fans. Eh, va a ayudar al, al seguir al crecimiento de, del soccer aquí de la MLS eh, es difícil alcanzar el nivel de fútbol americano o, o de béisbol pero creo que es, es una evolución constante continua eh, y creo que la llegada de Leo va, va a beneficiar mucho en que a crear muchos más fans aquí la Premier League está haciendo un gran trabajo trayendo eh, eh, equipos de, de UK a jugar aquí yo creo que eso también es importante y va a ayudar también al desarrollo del fútbol no solamente el fútbol a crear fans eh, y a traer eh, alegría no porque el fútbol es es un contexto de emociones sino también ayudar a mucha gente a mejorar su, su, su vida creo que también es parte de el fútbol también es parte de, de no solamente de, de, de solamente un negocio sino también que da mucha eh, eh, bienestar eh, puede crear mucho bienestar a, a la gente ayudar a la gente a hacer un poco mejor, a estar un poco, tener una mejor vida, ¿no? Yes, got to Alex BBC. Hi, Richard. Hello. Uh, Brighton got a lot of praise for the way they played last season, and particularly their manager Roberto Deserve. Just wondering where you rate him in, in world football? No, yes, I think he deserves big credit. It was an amazing uh, season. I, seen, I know Roberto, uh, great coach and great guy also. We have a very good relationship. Um, uh, I think it was, was fantastic what uh, made Brighton last la season in the way that they play and the, how they achieve the result. Um, yes, I think it's going to be exciting Saturday to, to meet them. Uh, we have uh, good friends there in like uh, Adam Lalana that uh, we know very well from Southampton. I think it's going to be it's going to be good to to meet uh, Saturday Brighton and, and Roberto and, and Adam also. And going forward for you in the league with Chelsea and against Brighton, are they now one of the regular 
contenders for a European spot? Uh, Brighton is, is uh, yes, of course, because they, they play so well and they are in Europe, no? They finish above us and uh, I think in, in, in uh, last season. And of course, they, they are signing good players, um, add good experience player in the, in the squad. Yes, I think yes, I think it's going to be a tough game. Of course, it's precision. Uh, we want to win and we want to, you know, to perform in our best way. Um, but I think, like say, Raheem, now is the moment to build, to build the team, to build, to see young player to play. Um, on the end, always it's better if you win. But I think we are focusing, try to to evolve like a like a team. Bizarre. You, you, um, you spoke a good deal a little bit about you had a number in mind for the squad, a number of players you need in this position. Um, is that number quite small because you don't have European football? Are you, are you going to try to build with a very small? Football? But the ideal, the ideal war, we'll see after if we can uh, earn that. Uh, maybe we don't need, even if you play European competition, you need. Uh, 23, 24, max 25, keeper uh, uh, include. And I think we don't need 30, 35, you know, player. Even if we less than 25, better. Um, but we need to be right in the way that we are going to choose the, uh, the player, the profile, because the balance is the most important. Uh, sometimes you get the balance with less and more because always is a problem because on, on the end they only can play 11 players it's not that you cannot manage you no know, situation or, or player the, the problem is that these players that are not going to play from where they are going to get the motivation you know to to be strong every day to to train if sometimes players that are not involved uh, and, and need to be in the dynamic of the squad it's normal that they are not going to bring good things you know it's not it's not going to be uh, easy for them first and not fair, and then we cannot ask to be happy every day and to bring good spirit and good energy. That is why um, we cannot blame the players. Uh, we need to be clever and be strong in our decision, be right in the numbers of the player, or we think that maybe it can be insured or suspended uh, player that uh, we need to compensate, but no so big because it's not going to be the benefit for the for the team. No? Just ask, um, will it be better to have some of the younger guys on the bench next season rather than like last season? No, no, no. If they deserve, yes. It's not because they they, they are not they are not going to create problems. You are going to have younger, you know, in in the in the squad or in the bench. Uh, I think if you want to play for Chelsea, maybe now is a situation that maybe we are not going to compete for Europe. But I think it's maybe it's a period that uh, we need to think that we need to deserve next season to play for the for the Champions League. And the objective is to win, is not to oh, to be good. And for that we need good players. If the young are good enough to be involved in the squad, of course, but not because they are going to be easy to manage. I, I don't want easy players to manage. I want players that can perform on the pitch and bring uh, um, um, uh, good, you know, uh, good thing, <laughs> and to help the team to win. No another thing. I don't want people that easy to manage. Uh, I, I want people that care about the the team, want to compete in the best way, and have the capacity to uh, to bring success to the team. Good, sir, Jordan. Um, you played a very young team in that first half against Brentford. It's less than a month away until the start of the Premier League. These next few games. Head, do you now need to start playing? No, me, no, I'm going to mix also. I'm going to mix because uh, still we have players that they need time to train. They arrive uh, only maybe this is uh, like one example, like, like Enzo arrived Monday and after a long period of, uh, you know, holidays. Um, and now we are going to play again Brighton Saturday and it's not because we are going to play again a Premier League uh, team or oh, I need to play with a senior player. No, we need to care about the player. We need to provide the best uh, tool for, for him to arrive in the best condition when he start the Premier League. And I think I'm going to continue to provide the young players uh, the possibility to play. 
Five. Saturday and the next few games. Are you concerned you may get to the Liverpool game and not know what the strongest team is? Play? No, all the players that are here, the objective is to arrive in the best condition against Liverpool. The competition, you cannot talk about the excuse when arrive uh, <laughs> the week before to to, uh, to start the Premier League. I think we are going to arrive in condition, but for that maybe we need to sacrifice this type of game like Brighton or maybe Newcastle um, and Fulham and, and of course Dortmund. Uh, we need to match like Rhys that arrived yesterday from from uh, from UK. It's easy for me to say, okay, go to play, but the risk. If nothing happened, okay, but if something happened, maybe we go back, you know, maybe we need after to wait one or two months. That is the most important. Now which the objective is individual to provide the best uh, tool to them, uh, to try to work, to settle the principle like was already in Tolkien, but in the same time, avoid risks because that is a squad that uh, when you see the past, many, many problem I don't say that uh, I don't I don't want to criticize nothing but I think we one of the things that we made when we arrived here is to see all the uh, background of the player and see and try to design a strategy to um, to help and to arrive in the best condition that is the object is to is to uh, the Premier League is is uh, Liverpool and we need Reese and we need Enzo and we need all the player in their best condition it's not because oh uh, it's a game that we need to play tomorrow maybe maybe yes they can be involved and maybe no that is a thing that we are going to analyze with the, all the staff and to take the best the best decision Okay, we'll do three more, Scott, Ben, and Jen in the New York cap. Keep us one question each, please, so we can get it in. Hi, Richard. Hi. Wondered how those guys who joined Trade and Labour have been doing, um, how involved have they been so far, and why not be that how how they are behaving? Behavior. Uh, yeah. And, uh, the behavior of this this guy that are really late. Um. So, like, how involved in the fitness session are they? Have they really got stuck in straight away, and what have they brought to the squad? Talking about the like Enzo and the kind of yeah. So the players who've arrived late, have they got going with the fitness work early, and how have they integrated in the in the uh, squad? Yes, uh, um, yes, of course. After a long period of holidays, it's a big risk to go and to put these guys to compete. You know, because they are have great character and they want to compete and they want to win. But sometimes they are. Uh, in not in the level to compete in the way that they want, you know. But in their mind, they are ready always to compete. But sometimes we need to stop them to say no. First of all, you need to build your condition, your fitness level, and little by little we are we are including in different drills, different exercise, different tactical work them to the to the team. Uh, it's normal. We can see the difference when with the player that start from the day one. And yes, I think it's about to to be careful and be patient for them to start because they want to compete. They they love to compete. They love, want to play. They, they want to play matches. But I think our responsibility is to is to uh, design the best strategy for everyone. Uh, we are professional and we are not about to say, oh, you want to play, you play, or oh, like this. Okay, he want to play. The player want to play. Uh, we cannot go against the player because if not, it's not happy. Uh, we don't care about that. We uh, what we are uh, um, doing is, is to provide to the to the all the squad, all the team, um, an individual strategy for them to arrive in the best condition uh, when the competition starts. That is a Premier League, and then we cannot use excuses. No, because play before and we didn't have time to work. No. We cannot give excuses to the to the player. The player need to arrive to the Premier League. That is the strategy in the best condition and compete in the best way to to try to win. Ben? Mauricio, hi. We've seen a year of a hundred million pound or euros players. You've got two of them: Enzo Fernandez and Mikhailo Mudrik. Declan Rice is over a hundred million. Maybe it's not true, eh? <laughs> Maybe it's not true. The the numbers that you say. With that, we need to. Oh, okay. We'll see. And obviously, Moises Caicedo could be a player <laughs> as well. Moises Caicedo too. How do you handle as a manager a young player with a big price tag and high expectation? 
Well, I think it's the, the same than the another. Eh? Uh, the objective is the same for for the people. I think they don't care about the, if the club pay big big uh, money or not. Uh, they only want to play and they, they want to improve. They want to um, take the, the space uh, on the on the on the pitch. I think we are not going to treat people because the the club pay uh, one. Two, three, four, five, or one hundred. You know, we are going to treat them how they deserve. First of all, like a person, and then uh, like a professional. And we are going to push them in the same way that another that maybe uh, came uh, for free. You know, I think the demand and the exigence is is important. Um, they have the same responsibility. I think they need to you not know, because you pay more money for a one player. We need to ask for more. You know, on the end, all need to to give the the best. And, and of course, for us, it's not difficult. You know, it's only to be to be careful about that because sometimes we need to guide in a different, you know, different way. Because uh, in their mind, maybe they think that they serve more than the another because the club make a massive, in, a big inversion. But I think it's for us, it's easy. It's uh, it's only to to be natural in the way that we need to to act with them and and demand from them the best. Uh, they have a right. Yes, but no more than the another. But they have a lot of obligation, you know, to provide the team, you know, things that we expect from them. Last one. Yeah. Uh, just looking at the um, looking at the list of teams in the Premier League from the series of themselves, Aston Villa, Newcastle, and Brighton, could these all be top five challengers next season? And is the Premier League? Yeah, for sure, yes. For sure, yeah, they, they will be uh, uh, at, uh, clubs, teams that are going to challenge the top five, the top four, the top six. I think it's, it's going to be tough, the Premier League, like always was. But uh, yes, uh, they show last season that they can be, be there. They are there. They are there. It's not, <laughs> you know, you can see uh, uh, Chelsea or, or different clubs that maybe uh, that last season expect something but didn't uh, earn or didn't achieve. Uh, that is why uh, it's so important, you know, now uh, um, uh, to provide the team the good tool for perform because it's going to be tough the Premier League, like like always was, eh? because it's not that this season is is, is is worse than the others. Always was difficult the Premier League. That is why it's so exciting to be here and we are so happy to be in the Premier League involved again. We do one final question. Is it uh, yeah, yeah. Muchas gracias. No, yo creo que es una buena... Um, es una buena oportunidad, creo que la creación del, de la Premier League Series en, en América es, es, es algo bonito porque vamos a, vamos a no solamente a preparar el equipo, sino vamos a competir prácticamente lo que nos vamos a encontrar en, en, durante la temporada. Eh, pero sí que es verdad eh, que creo que para todos los equipos la prioridad es, es, es construir, construir una base para poder eh, eh, luego en la Premier League eh, conseguir los resultados que nos, que nos hemos, o, o los objetivos que nos planteamos. ¿no? Eh, es verdad que los equipos llegamos todos en diferentes momentos, equipos que llegan con, con una continuidad por, por años de trabajo. Nosotros llegamos esta temporada, eh, eh, tenemos que construir un, 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 un equipo. Eh, estamos excitados por, 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 por este periodo que nos encontramos y, y en, envueltos en la construcción de, de un equipo que pueda devolver al, a Chelsea en la posición que, que siempre ha estado y que merece eh, por eso que, que bueno los equipos llegamos en diferentes momentos equipos como Newcastle preparando no para, para no solamente la, para la Premier sino para competición europea como Champions League teniendo una continuidad con entrenadores como en el caso de Brighton o Fulham eh, o Aston Villa también bueno para nosotros es nuevo no es ninguna excusa tenemos que construir es el periodo que nos toca trataremos de hacerlo lo mejor posible 
posible eh, tratando de, de, de evolucionar como equipo pero también tratando de, de ganar que también cuando se entra a un campo de fútbol esa, esa, es, es ganar y, y, y lo demás también es importante pero ganar eh, es lo que, lo que cuenta ¿no? de nada Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, it's difficult now for you. Um, yes, we're very excited to be here. Um, we come to prepare, and every team comes in in a different um, fashion. Obviously, our team, I'm new, and our team is um, in a different um, zone than the other teams who have continu uh, continuity within their teams, with their managers and their players. Um, but we all come here. We're, we're working on preparing for the next year. We're focused on our objectives, um, and we're building a base um, to prepare for the next season. Um, we, we want to make sure that Chelsea gets back to where it belongs and where it deserves to be, um, and that's what we're working towards and preparing for. You know, some teams like Newcastle, they're coming in preparing for the Champions League. Other teams have the continuity, um, like Brighton um, and the others, and that's not an excuse. It's just we come in here to try and build, and at the end of the day, all we want to do is win. Very good. Is that good? <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. See you in the call. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs>